Hi everybody, I'm Holly Holland, and today's Pilates routine will involve a foam roller, which is a great piece of equipment. Good, with your hips stacked, you're going to roll that out. Now you can extend your hips, draw that back, get your back nice and open. Good, now pull from the navel. You're going to arch your back and you're going to draw the sit bones back over your knees and use your abdominals to draw that foam roller back up. We're going to take that very basic routine and we're going to challenge it by bringing the feet into a marquee diamond position here. So I want you to bring your toes together and try to keep your knees within the box of your shoulder. Arms are forward, take an inhale. Your exhale, you're going to peel your low back down. Good. And because those feet are on the foam roller, you're really forced to go long into your pelvis, which is what I want. Come down to a position you can maintain, still keeping those knees in line with your shoulders. Inhale and then exhale, peel it back up. Good, you're pulling your belly in, resisting. Take the foam roller here, you're pressing the hands across the, sh uh, the sides of it, take an inhale, squeeze the ball, exhale, draw down. Good, now take the foam roller to the side like you're scooping your oar in the water, and back. Exhale, 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 inhale, exhale. Good, squeeze the ball, reach it over, you're stabilizing through the pelvis. Good, you're digging deep with your oar. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, I want you to bring that right ear over to the right side of the foam roller. It's just a really wonderful stretch. Good, inhale back to center. Exhale, draw it up and over. Try to keep your nose in the same plane, so don't lead with your nose. You're just trying to work the neck muscles. Inhale, exhale, gently pressing with resistance to the sides of the foam roller. Good, come back up on the inhale and exhale to the left. The first thing we're going to do is get some nice shoulder opening. You're going to take your arms up here like you're making a goal post. Now fan your fingers down. You want to get your, your arms and hands just sort of hovering off the mat. All right, take an inhale and then exhale, reaching with your hands, pull down underneath your arms. You get a really great stretch in your bicep and your supraspinatus muscle that's in the back of your mid back here. All right, so you want to get the tops of your feet down here, and I want you to lift your knees off the mat. Now you're going to curl into your abdominals here, and then you're going to draw this in, rounding your upper back. Bring it in and lower. Try to keep your head over your fist, curl it up, so you're not going out so far that you lose the core connection. So I'm just floating right off the mat here. I'm just going to stretch my right arm and my left leg straight out of my hip socket. So I'm more impressed with length than lift here. You want to feel that everything is reaching out of your midsection and then lower. Then the right leg and the left arm float from the center. Good. Get into those butt muscles here, but again, not taking it into the low back. So you're hovering off the mat. Good. And you're going to go inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. Feel the stretch. Try to control it from your midsection. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale. Side bend. Good. As you stretch that straight left arm over, try to straighten this right arm here. Good. Inhale. Draw back up. Exhale. Over. So the belly's pulling in as you reach out. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Good. From here. Take an inhale. Exhale, up and over. 